Hi guys, welcome back to The Melting Pot. I hope everybody's doing well. It's probably, oh, it's the middle of May now, so I haven't done a video in a while, and I thought, well, why not focus on a company that not very many people are talking about? So I'm going to do that today. So I'm doing a kind of warm review slash just a little bit about the company if you haven't heard of them. They are called Pink Tea Candles, and they're made in New Mexico. The owner is Terry. She does have a Facebook group, and she has a webpage that's linked through Facebook, and that's how you order. I can't remember. Um, I think the website's going to be right here, so I'm going to flip this over. Look at that. It's such a mess. Um, she sent me a little note with my order. It says, thank you, Maggie. Enjoy. Terry Pink Tea Candles. And I thought for sure that there was a website on here, but there isn't. When I find it, I will link it in this video. But anyway, so, um, and you can see right through that. It does say they are in an exclusive tropical wax blend, coconut wax and tropical wax. And admittedly, I did laugh when I first heard that because I've never heard of coconut wax. And, um... I've heard of coconut oil. I don't know if this is the th same thing, but she does candles. She does little cubes, um, little loaves, like stacks and stuff. She's got quite a bit of stuff on her website. She also does jewelry and candles, which I'm not a big fan of, so uh, I can't say anything about that. But she does recommend that her wax be melted in a 24-watt hot plate or a 40-watt bulb warmer or tea light, which I do not have. So I did use a 24-watt, and I did get a better scent throw with a 24-watt than I did with a 20-watt, which I actually just bought a new warmer. I thought it was 24, but it's actually 20, and it's still doing really well because um, I'm melting it right now. And if you heard that, that's my cell phone. People keep texting me. But anyway, and they're pretty affordable. It's probably about a dollar an ounce. So anyway, that is her card and all the information. Like I said, I will link the uh, Facebook group and the website below in the video, so look for that. Um, I did melt through some of this. I gave two in a random act of kindness that I'm doing for somebody, and so those are already packed up and ready to go. And um, But then I have three, I, I think I melted two, three cents out of the six that I got. And so I'm just going to do a review on those. Um, the first one that I did was mint, I think it was cucumber and mint, and I lost the, the empty little thingy for it. Um, it was really good. I melted in a 24 watt downstairs, and it filled my hole downstairs, and it threw for hours, 10 hours plus. So it was super strong. Um, it was heavier on the mint than it was on the cucumber. Uh, for some reason, I thought it was going to be a cucumber melon scent. I think it's because I'm just so used to cucumber melon as a blend. But this was mint, and it was super strong mint, so definitely a good one. The next one that I melted um, is the only one that I didn't have very good luck with. And this is Birthday Cake Swizzle. It was so good cold. Um, it smelled like cake and candy. So it's like a really sweet birthday cake scent. Um, very, very light thrower, even in a 24 watt. So that was the only one that I was really, really, of the three that I melted. Um, then I did, I've already melted through two of these. And this is in Strawberry Passion. I love the scent. And it throws insanely. 15 hours plus I had for my first cube. And then um, the second cube just started. So I'm going to see how long I can get that one to go. I'm going to pull out one of these for you. Uh, just so you could see like the size of these things. Um, and this is smelling really good. This is a Pina Colada scent. Um, so this is what they look like. So they're solidly an ounce, probably over an ounce. Um, like I said, it looks like palm on the top. I don't know if you could tell. It's got that crystallization. And it's weird because like it has like holes in it and stuff. I mean, it hasn't affected the scent. It smells really good. This is um, called Poolside Pina Colada. And it's like a really, really, really strong Pina Colada scent. Heavy on the pineapple. I also got, I'm excited about this one, coconut custard, and this is different than a, um, it does smell slightly like pistachio and slightly like coconut, um, but this is really, really, really good. It's got like a fruity, like almost a fruity undertone, it's really good. It's kind of like a coconut cream pie, but not really, and then the last one that I am so excited about is pistachio pudding. I love pistachio scents and this one 
smells so, it's so strong. Ugh, it is so, <coughs> see, it is so strong. That one is going to be good. Um, it's killing me just on cold. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so that was my small little order. I did get a couple other ones, and I got another sample, which I put in a box for somebody, and then I got a coconut scent, which I put in the box. Um, and, yeah, and the other ones I melted. So that's my small order, and I do plan on ordering again whenever I'm done with these. Um, I just want to melt through the rest of this and kind of just decide if the only one that didn't throw that well for me is the birthday cake one, then this is, you know, a really, really good start. So, but yeah, I wanted to get this out there so people kind of heard about the company. I will link it down below and um, check her out. She's got some interesting scents and so far I'm pretty impressed. All right, guys, that's it and I will see you in my next video. All right, goodbye. Okay,